It's been almost half a year since Apple revealed the M4 Pro MacBook Pro, which is proving itself to be an incredibly good value in terms of getting a high-end laptop. So after all of the hype, how is this thing really? How is it compared to the rest of the M4 generation MacBooks that you can buy right now? And also, how does it compare in terms of performance to a bunch of the Windows laptop competition, including the Snapdragon chips, the Intel Lunar Lake, the AMD chips, both the old and the new? So before we jump into all the performance numbers comparing it to the other laptops, I want to mention a few ways that Apple really added value this year with the Pro model. First of all, we now have 24 gigs of base RAM, which is awesome because it's an extra eight gigs for free. On top of that, Apple gave us a bunch of extra performance cores in the CPU. It also gets the incredibly good looking mini LED 120 Hertz ProMotion display. Just such a good laptop overall. So I'd say for 1800 bucks, it is a very good value. It's also great in terms of portability with this 14 inch size. But after all the hype, how does it really compare to the rest of the M4 MacBook lineup and these Windows laptops. Well, let's jump right into performance and battery life to find out. I've got my M4 Max model right here. This is the $4,000 upgraded version and we compared it to the $2,500 version of the M4 Pro. Now, the single core performance is exactly the same, so no advantage for spending that extra money. And some tests like Xcode were faster on the M4 Max, but not $1,500 worth faster. Now, the graphics performance tests like 3D Mark Steel Nomad Lite were the ones where you saw the biggest advantage with the M4 Max, but this mainly matters for those who wanna play games. There's also rendering like Blender 3D rendering. That was also very impressive, almost twice as fast. That's where it could be worth it to spend the extra money, but it's just so much more expensive. Lightroom was only around 1.5 minutes faster for photo editing. So we really expected more performance on the M4 Max for that much more cash. And for video editing, our HVC 4K export was close to twice as fast. And that's because of course the Max chip has the extra encoders, basically double the amount of the M4 Pro. So for that, it could definitely be worth it. But some of the other tests barely showed any difference at all. And in the end, the battery life was much worse on the M4 Max. So basically our conclusion was that most people should just stick to the M4 Pro because you're spending so much money and in a lot of cases, you're not getting that much better performance. And now compared to Windows laptops, we also tested the $2,500 version of the M4 Pro versus the Ryzen AI9 HX370 chip, which is in the Asus ProArt P16. By the way, great Windows laptop, but the M4 Pro destroyed it in almost every single way at a lower price, about $300 less expensive. There's actually only one area where it lost and that was basically video rendering, like Blender 3D rendering, because of course it's competing versus a dedicated NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU, which is very powerful and great at rendering. But for everything else, if this beats that laptop and chip combo in most of the tests, then it definitely beats the Snapdragon X and Lunar Lake Intel chips that we have right here in these two laptops. Of course, we haven't tested the new Arrow Lake CPUs just yet, so definitely subscribe if you wanna see us compare to that. But the most impressive comparison that we did was with this new laptop right here. This has the brand new Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, whatever it's called, no longer requiring a dedicated NVIDIA GPU, which makes this a lot less expensive. This is of course the new Asus ROG Flow Z13, which is an awesome laptop for $2,300. Of course, you can get this for $1,800 on Amazon, that's $500 less. And the M4 Pro either won or matched the performance in every single test except for one, which was Lightroom photo editing, where we went in and allocated 24 gigs of RAM to the GPU's VRAM 
and that made it perform faster by about one minute. And if you consider the resale value advantage that MacBooks have compared to Windows laptops, the 14 inch and four Pro MacBook Pro might just be the best value high end laptop you can buy right now. Now with that said, I know you guys are probably curious about how the base model for 1800 compares to the upgraded model, which we tested was 2500 with the M4 Pro. And surprisingly throughout all of the tests, we were shocked at how well the base model performed. Like Figma, that export was exactly the same a minute and nine seconds. Xcode programming was also exactly the same, 106 seconds. Blender 3D rendering was only two seconds faster. Lightroom Classic, the photo export, wasn't that much faster considering the extra 500 bucks. And Final Cut HEVC exporting was exactly the same. Even C200 RAW, that export was only four seconds faster. So our conclusion is that you should absolutely stick to the base model if you want to save some cash, making this the best value MacBook right now. Well, I guess let me rephrase that because we also have the M4 MacBook Air, which is the best value laptop of all time since the price is so cheap, only 950 bucks on Amazon and you get so much bang for your buck with this awesome design. But if we're talking about high end laptops, this is where it's at with the M4 Pro chip. Now, of course, one that we did not cover yet is the $1,600 M4 base model. And I know a lot of you guys are curious, so you just get the M4 base model for 1,600 or pay 400 more for this guy, or actually, I mean 200 with that Amazon sale. Well, think about it. This thing comes with 512 gigs at the base price where this thing comes with 256. So that's a $200 upgrade to match it, basically 1800 bucks. And then this also gets an extra eight gigs of RAM. So from 16 to 24. So factor those two things in, and this is already a much better value. But then if you look closely, you actually get double the CPU performance cores, eight on the M4 Pro versus four on the M4, you also get 60% more GPU cores. We tested it, you get much faster SSD speed, much faster multi-core. Every real world test that we tested was so much faster. This was just so worth it compared to the M4. Our conclusion was definitely spend the extra money on the M4 Pro. So there you guys go. Those are all of the reasons why after around six months of use, I fully believe that the base M4 Pro is the star of the entire M4 MacBook lineup and probably the best value high-end laptop that you can buy right now for the price, beating out all of the other Windows competition, even this brand new ROG Flow Z13 because of the combo of performance, battery life, resale value, everything. Definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.